Now to the growing mystery surrounding the deaths of two sisters from Saudi Arabia whose bodies were found bound together, washed up on the shore of the Hudson River here in New York. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more, or there with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Michael. Yeah, their bodies were found right here in the Hudson River. And now police are trying to piece together exactly what happened. At first, they thought this might have been a pact of some kind for two sisters to die together. But now they believe there is much more to this story. It's the mystery of two sisters found dead. Who were these young women? And why were their bodies found duct taped together floating in the Hudson River? After putting out these sketches, on Wednesday, police identified the sisters as 22-year-old Rotana Ferreira and 16-year-old Tala Ferreira. Police say their deaths were initially thought to be a possible suicide pact after potentially jumping off a bridge like the George Washington Bridge. But police later ruled that possibility out, citing no trauma on either body. The women found submerged in the water but fully dressed in yoga pants and fur-lined coats. The detective's work has filled in many of the pieces, but there's still some gaps. Police say the sisters are from Saudi Arabia and had moved to Fairfax, Virginia in 2015 with their family. Both were last seen in August. Police interviewed the women's family, trying to piece together a timeline of just what could have happened. According to the New York Times, police said the sisters had recently requested asylum in the United States. Police are treating their deaths as suspicious. An autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause. Michael? Definitely mysterious. Thank you so much, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.